Hey guys, <clears throat> so I'm going to make a video sharing with you guys some of my favorite snacks um, that I routinely snack on. So for me, I am a savory person. I prefer to snack on salty, um, spicy, crunchy things as opposed to like sweet stuff. Um, so you'll always see me snacking on like if I'm having like a guilty snack, it'll be like chips or something. So today I'm just going to share with you guys some of my semi-healthy snacks that I like because I tend to crave, you know, salty, crunchy stuff. Sometimes, like, even after I eat a meal, I still crave something, like a texture, like a crunchy, like, salty texture, and I just want that crunchiness. So, um, so the first thing that I love to snack on are croutons, believe it or not. Um, and this is my favorite brand. It's by Rothberry Farms, and it's the cheese and garlic flavor. And whenever you're buying food, if you ever see this gold emblem right here, right there in the middle, um, it says Best Taste Award 2006 by the American Culinary um, Society, then you know it's going to be, it's going to taste really, really good. So, um, I love these croutons because it's full of flavor, um, it's very crunchy, and it just tastes so good, and it satisfies that salty, savory, crunchy craving that I get every now and then. And, as far as calorie-wise, it's um, 30 calories per serving, and there are 24 servings. So, if you do the math, it's about 700 calories for this entire bag, um, which is a lot less than, you know, a bag of Lay's or a bag of... I don't know, some other snack. So, usually it'll take me three or four days to get through this, and I'll eat like five or six. Honestly, I'll eat like five or six, and that's about it, because it's really flavorful, and it's really crunchy, and it just satisfies that craving. So, if you're looking for a semi healthy snack, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna be realistic with y'all. I don't snack on carrots and celery and, you know, what magazines and doctors and other people tell you to snack on like let's be real I don't do that I snack on semi healthy stuff so this is what I snack on cheese and garlic and I bought this at Walmart <clears throat> and I'm so I'm pretty sure it will be like in any Walmart and you're gonna find this in the like salad dressing aisle not in the produce where all the vegetables are it's not gonna be there it's gonna be where all the salad dressings are. So next to that, you'll see like tons of croutons and get the Roth Berry Farms. Alright, so the second snack that I like are Stouts by Lay's. And recently they've come out with a whole bunch of different flavors. And my favorite flavor so far is the Hot and Spicy Barbecue flavor. And let me tell you why I really like Stouts. First of all, they're very it's very easy to eat. It's not greasy, so I, I like that. And um, it's only 150 calories, and there are six servings in this entire packet. So that, I think, equates to like 900 somewhat calories, which is a little bit high. But if you compare it to other snacks like Lay's and other Doritos and, you know, other salty chips, this fares really well. Um, so this is another snack that I like to snack on when I'm craving something savory, craving something crunchy, and I like it so much because the flavor is amazing, like, oh my god, it's so spicy, it's not so spicy, but it's spicy, it has that heat, and it's very, very flavorful, and I like how, you know, it's, so it's, in, it's in the shape of a Pringle chip, and you know when you eat Pringles, you have to eat it a certain way, like it'll fit in your mouth in a certain way. So the way Stacks does it is that they have the flavor on the side that lands on your tongue. So like you get this flavor but burst of just spicy and barbecueness and it's just amazing. So I'll usually finish this in like I'll eat maybe like one third per serving. Yeah. And sometimes if I'm really hungry, I might eat like half the thing. I can't eat the whole thing because, I don't know, it's just too much. And then, sometimes, you know, when you're craving like a carbonated drink, what I like 
um, is Seven Up. Uh oh, is Seven Up Diet Seven Up is amazing. It, in my opinion, tastes better than Sprite. Diet Seven Up they have like the antioxidant cherry flavor, and they also have like the purple berry fusion or something. Those are amazing, and they come in diet flavors too, so it's zero calories. So that's my favorite carbonated uh, drink. Um, and another one that I've been really into is another thing that you can get at Walmart. Um, it's called Clear American, and it's in the flavor of Mandarin Orange. It's zero calories, zero sugar, zero caffeine, zero sodium. So it's zero everything. It's just carbonated flavored water. And even though it's zero sugars, um, it's still sweet. Like it's not like just flavored water. It ha It's sweet. And it's carbonated. Let me see what. Oh, they have aspartame, aspartame. They have aspartame, which is an artificial zero calorie sweetener. So that's what's used to make to give it that sweetness. You know, there's been recent studies showing that um, zero calorie sweeteners um, that contain aspartame is neuro are neurotoxic. Um, I haven't really read the the articles about that like I don't know how they did the studies so I can't really talk much about it but I know like my neuro my neurology professor also mentioned that in this lecture but he said it's very controversial so um, yeah I haven't read it but yeah those are my three favorite snacks that I like to snack on and yeah I'm gonna go make some mac and cheese I've been wanting some good mac and cheese. The best mac and cheese I've ever had. If you're in Georgia, go to Georgia Tech's food court. And in their hotline, they make the best mac and cheese ever. Oh, my God. Like, I don't know who the chef is now, but I know when I was in undergrad, which was three years ago, um, like, the chef would make this amazing... Um, amazing mac and cheese that was super cheesy like every morsel was drenched in this cheesy roux and it was just amazing and so I found this really good recipe online and I'm gonna try it today and uh, hopefully it comes out good I was thinking about trying Martha Stewart's um, mac and cheese recipe because I heard hers is like the holy grail of cheese of mac and cheese but um, it's a little bit complicated and time consuming and as you guys know I don't have time to do all that so the recipe that I found is really easy really fast so yeah oh I got my hair ombre do you see the brown tip mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it a lot I will show a video with my hair straight where you can really see like the shading of that um, it's really pretty I really like it Alright guys, I'm going to go study. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.